This will just be a quick update video on the Blackpool Snaefell incident. I've added uh, this third model here with a radius of 7500 km. That's to show just about standard refraction. A huge thank you to Walter Bislin for this. In this video I will focus on this observation, the furthest one from 390 meters. We see the top of Blackpool Tower, the top of the turbines and the top of Snaefell is just about on the same um, line here. I have also added a few lines here. Uh, this is the observed top of Blackpool Tower and this is that line crossing over there. Continuing down there. That's the same line. So to bend that light upwards to match reality, it needs to bend 0 0.574 degrees up here. This is eye level and the observed line is down here. So 0 0.574 degrees on the flat earth. On the globe earth, same line is here. And um, this seems to be a little bit better because here it only needs to bend 0 0.08 degrees to fit reality. If we try out the new Walter Bislin uh, refraction model, this is just about damn near perfect. It's 0 0.016 degrees difference between observed and reality. So when um, Sleeping Warrior is saying uh, this one video debunks the flobe, challenge to Sean Huffrod, I can take that challenge, Sleeping Warrior. When you say down here, um, you are flattening out the curve by adding crazy ass refraction that does not happen real world. Crazy ass refraction, Sleeping Warrior. When the refraction counts for 0 0.016 degrees, without refraction it's 0 0.08 degrees. And on the flat earth it would be 0 0.574 degrees. That's over seven times as much bending of light, sleeping warrior. What's your excuse? Thank you so much for watching everybody. See you next time. Bye bye.